Hello, my name is Markus Neubauer. I am responsible for research and development at Standard IT in Linz, Austria. I will show you the item approval workflow that we have created. What you see here is the process diagram. The process starts when a new item is created and has two approval steps. First, we have an approval from the purchasing department and then an approval from the sales department. And when the decisions are made, both decisions are merged and the approval state is set at the item. And the complete item is either approved or denied. So let's have a look at Dynamics AX. What's the workflow configuration? Here in the details of the workflow configuration you can see we have two steps. One purchase approval and a sales approval. And here in the details you have the instruction for the purchase department and the instructions for the sales department. So let's start with a new workflow. So I go to the inventory management module and cre create the new item. Let's say we have a car headset. So the item group is maybe car audio. And I will set here standard cost and standard dimensions. And save my new item here. So what you see here, the system suggests me to start the workflow, the item approval workflow, and that's the default order settings. It is stopped by purchase department and it is stopped by sales department. I have here an instruction to start the workflow and it tells me the item has to be approved by sales and purchasing department. So let's start the workflow and start the approval. And let's say please check and approve. Now the workflow has been started. You see here in this line the last action taken, who has taken that action and the date. At the actions here we can view the history. I will make this window a little bit greater so you can see all information down here. We have the workflow, it is pending, we have an instance, we have the submitted user and the elapsed time. And have here the tracking details. So the workflow has been activated by Charlie Carson and with the command please check and approve. For this demonstration I am always playing Charlie Carson and I'm purchasing department and sales department all in one person just for demonstration purpose here. So the workflow runs on the AOS. This means we have a batch job on this server running and this may take a minute until the first step is created. Meanwhile we can have a look at the item itself and the approval state now has here switched to submitted so the workflow is running and we wait for the first task. Now the system has generated the first step. We have here the purchase approval and the step has been started so someone from the purchasing department has to look at the item and either approve or deny and we will do this. So we are opening here again the item form and go to our item and have here the instruction decision from purchase department is necessary either approve or deny item 005 and I'm willing to approve here and say ok from purchasing department 
and we have here the information, last action taken, again from Charlie Carson and the time. So back to the history, we have here a work item, an approval that has been completed by Charlie Carson and at the tracking details we see the work item approval has been done by Charlie Carson and the command was okay from purchasing department. So the next step will be the approval from the sales department and again the workflow is running on the AOS on the batch server and this may take one minute more until the next step is created automatically. So let's wait for a few seconds. Now the system has created the next step and the approval from the sales department is now needed. So we are going back to our item and decide if we approve the item in the role of the sales department. So back to our item here. Meanwhile we can have a look at the uh, default order settings. And as you can see our decision from the first approval step has been processed. The stopped flag here is deleted. And the next step is the approval from the sales department. And what you see here is the instruction that a decision from the sales department is needed. Either approve or deny. And again we are willing here to approve. And let's say OK from sales. Approve and switch back to the history and back to our tracking details. And as you can see, the approval has been accepted here. And if the information OK from sales, and it was again Charlie Carson who approved it. And now we are waiting for the system to complete the workflow and to complete the step so the workflow is finished. This may also take one minute. Now the workflow has been completed. The system has processed the last step. So the approval from sales is finished, the approval from purchase department is finished and the complete workflow is finished. We can close this here now. You see here we have the information the workflow is completed and go back to our item 2005 so you see no actions here anymore, nothing to do because the workflow is finished we now have a look at the default order settings as we saw last time the flag stopped is deleted from the purchase order and from the sales order settings this has been done by a business logic that uh, we have implemented and the general tab is see okay the item here has been approved